What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. We are at Holly LS Fest in beautiful Las Vegas. Not so beautiful right now because we're in the middle of a sandstorm, which is why we're shooting next to the women's restroom, right? Right, Yeah. I think it's awesome. We're, we're shooting right next to the women's restroom. What a nice venue here. But uh, we have an incredible car here that I wanted to feature. Actually, that when I saw it, it just, it just blew me away. Um, we have Jesse from Jesse's Performance. Where are you from, Jesse? Fort Worth, Texas. And you came all the way out here just for Holly Ellis Fest. Just for, yeah. Yep, it was a long haul. Well, thanks for bringing it. And you also brought a bunch of other cars that we're gonna feature probably too, right? Probably, yeah. We brought four total. One of them's an ugly duckling, but the other two look pretty good, yeah. This is just, I guess, from the outside looking in, I take that this is just a modern interpretation of what the Trans Am should be if it came out today. Almost like a supercar status right. sitting right here, right? That was my intentions is to keep the original feel of the car, like, you know, because it's kind of nostalgic and iconic. I wanted to keep that, but I wanted to have everything modern that I could put into it. Yeah, and the first thing I noticed, of course, is the wheels. So I'm guessing you probably went out of your way to make some custom wheels yeah. that look similar to the old style wheels. Right. So what I did is I paired up with year one and we made these wheels. They, have, they came out with the 17 by nine cast wheel and we, we used that as a basis for their 18 by 12. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so can we take a look at them real quick on this side? You can go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this something that you can actually buy or is this is custom that you uh, guys they're, made? They're, uh, yeah, they're, they, they are making them now. I was actually the first one to, to ha you know, to, to have the wheels. But. It just looks incredible. I mean, because part of it is that it may look out of place if it's a, a different kind of wheel or you can, it's one of those things where you look at it from far away and you can't really put your finger on what's different because it is the same style as a stock wheel, right? right? Yep. But you went ahead to uh, essentially modernize yeah. the stock wheel. It was really important to me because uh, to have it proportionally correct because there are a lot of companies that make like replicas and, and stuff like that, but they just don't look quite right. And I wanted it to look like this wheel came on this car, you know. Yeah. So in terms of body, what else have you done to the outside of this? As far as the outside of it, it's got they're, they're different fender flares. They're actually three inches wider in the front and two inches in the back um, because the, the track width on the car is actually four inches wider than factory. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and so this is actually pretty subtle then. Um, all of this stuff still fits even though it's wider? Right, right. Yeah, it's all basically just pulled and stretched and, and tucked. So it's still metal? Yeah, yeah, this is all metal. It's just full metal car. Yeah, these are actually original fen the original fenders for the car that we modernize. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is incredible. Okay. What about the paint? Obviously, you guys redid that. Yep. Yeah. Um, I actually restored the car a couple of years ago and it got it got into a bad accident and was totaled out. So we put it on a rotisserie, sandblasted it and built it all the way from the ground back up. Hmm. It looks so good. And is this stuff painted on? No, those are the actual like factory correct stripe kit. It's incredible what great lengths you guys went through just to kind of keep it looking stock, but it's totally not. Right, yeah. And then what about this decal, the fire chicken, as people uh, uh, call it sometimes? That's, that's actually just a factory decal that would have came on this car. Like again, I just was trying to make it, basically restore the exterior of the car with, with adding performance. Can we take a look at the engine bay? Yeah. I don't even... No words. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. It's a lot to take in. When you, I mean, what do people say when they see this for the first time? I mean, they usually can't speak. Like it's usually just a speechless, like shock and awe moment. I just can't even. I mean, th this is the thing is, is this is legitimately like a supercar version of the Trans Am. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's 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 crazy. It's even it's even surreal to me sometimes that it's came this far, knowing what it you know these cars start out as. Huh. Okay. So tell me what I'm looking at over here. So it's a it's an Oaks Performance Dart Block 427, uh, with twin Zona rotor, 76 mil turbos. Um, it's got a billet intake. It's uh, 220 pound injectors. It runs full E85. It's T56 Magnum. Uh, Monster triple disc clutch. I mean, it's 
1400 horsepower on pretty low boost. How do you even drive this on the road at all? I mean, this is a street car still. I daily drive this car. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, also it has AC. Yes. You'd need that driving around in Texas. Oh yeah. Yeah, it gets hot. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it, it actually has really good street manners. It stays plenty cool. I got a real big cooling system on it. I mean, it's... The thing that really surprises me is how finished all of this is. You went out of your way to, I guess, just tidy up all of this. Right, yeah. Um, it was important to me because there was a lot of dead space when, even when we were done, we, we put every we put a lot of stuff in every nook and cranny. And it kind of it doesn't have a finished appearance. So I, I we made these panels and, and they came out great. I mean, you know, and we couldn't use factory inner fenders because of the tires and the wheels, you know, and the and it's got aftermarket subframes. So the factory inner fenders wouldn't work. So we used we built our own fenders and. Jeez. So all of this is something that you guys built. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Incredible. Huh. So have you actually drag raced this then? I have not. I have not drag raced, not with this setup, I have not. No, but I mean, I've, I've went to Mexico a few times and it does okay. <laughs> you boys like Mexico, yeah! It does okay. Yeah, just, I, I don't, I'm speechless. I'm just, it's incredible how much of a sleeper, I guess it really is. And I, and I put the quietest exhaust on here that I could build. Like it's three inch full stainless with the biggest magna flows they sell, like they're diesel mufflers. So where did you learn how to do this stuff? You know, I kind of grew up wrenching on this car with my dad and then I got into a bunch of import stuff and learned fabrication that way for a while. And then I uh, decided to open my own business to, to get this car back on the road. And it was kind of like learn as you go almost, like as far as all the using the holly and, and the wiring and, and all that stuff, it was just kind of learn as you go and you know, I, Jeez. yeah. I mean, just the turbos are something else. Cool. Um, can we take a look at the interior? Yeah, for sure. So the interior is just as finished. That's the part of this car that's like, is very iconic and I didn't want to take away from the car is, is, is the, the engine turn gold dash and the gold steering wheel and, and the, you know, the two-tone seats and stuff. This is actually factory original 1979 material. No way. Yeah. But then it's, uh, put in a modern seat? No, these are actually 1980 Trans Am Recaro seats. So they, they're not original to this car, but they, they came from the year model after this, yeah. So I wanted to have that, like, is this original? Is it maybe not original feel, you know? And Yeah, I mean, and, and also it ties in pretty nicely with uh, a bolting cage. Yeah, that's a Ride Tech Tiger cage. Yeah, yeah, it, it does well, I mean. And we got a double din radio and, and you know, stuff like that. Just, you know, GPS and all that stuff. Just modern amenities that you need. Incredible. Yeah. I'm sure you get a lot of thumbs up when you're driving this thing. Yeah, yeah. From all walks of life. I absolutely love it. So all the gauges are all changed auto meter now. So They're, this, it's yeah. kind of insane how much you've gotten to kind of keep it stock looking. Yeah. But it's actually not stock at all. Right. Um, yeah, because even if you ever seen it inside one of these cars, it actually has gauges in every one of these holes. I didn't drill any extra holes. I didn't do anything extra crazy. It, it, does, it looks original as I could make it. And what about the wheels? So that's... Uh... This is a, like a, a reproduction original wheel from year one. And it's got full stereo, subwoofer. It's all... Um, it's got lizard skin, dynamance, uh, ceramic mat in it. So like it's, it's got like, it's super quiet driving down the road. It's, it's super, you know, it's, it's tame, it's mild. I mean, it probably gets 18 miles a gallon cruising. Like, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, and then uh, what kind of transmission is this? It's a T56 Magnum. Well, you've done uh, quite the job with this. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I guess, uh, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it, it's, it just blows me away how the fit and finish, it really is like just that last 5% that you've kind of, I guess, uh, put your hands on to get it to this point. Right. And it just looks so good. I appreciate sitting it. Here. And even the paint is so good. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an older paint job, but it, it's, yeah, it's doing, it's doing pretty well. And there's a lot of things that, 
the normal guy wouldn't see like the, the the glass is a flush mount glass that doesn't have the trim right so like i mean that was special order from fessler i mean there's there's a lot of little things about this car that if you don't know these cars it just looks like a, a really nice original car and that's what we were after uh can we go for a quick ride yeah It's so quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And honestly, the gauges, it looks so modern. It looks so good. Everyone's scared to ride in this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I got this, I got the button and that turns the boost control on. So that's 400 horsepower on that button. Huh. So on the gate, it makes a thousand. Then I turn that on, it's, it's, it gives it an extra. At least the bald eagles. Yeah. Bald eagles. Oh yeah, this is a good ripper yeah, right here. Good you want to rip on it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god! That sound is so crazy! Yeah. I think we're on the wrong side of the road. You you are you are such a mild-mannered person. Yeah? And then you build a wild machine like this yeah it's a blast oh my god it's like the world is ending when you floor it in this thing yeah it's, it's pretty crazy because it like it's so quiet so like there's no buildup or anticipation it's just like everything happens crazy at one time yeah honestly when you're just cruising around right now it's not a big deal it, no. it, it doesn't seem that crazy no like i said it's just you know it just drives normal. Yeah, it drives just like an old muscle car yeah. right now. Yeah. But as soon as you get on it, it's just insane. Yeah. Oh. I couldn't even imagine. What do you think this would run in the quarter? I don't know. If we could get it to hook up, it would go probably 850s wow. pretty easily. I mean, it's still a 4,000 pound car, but. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. The, I, I'm blown away. That's cool. It, it's cool because part of it with these old cars, you know, they they need this, right? right? They need modern handling, brakes, uh, power, obviously. Power. Oh man, you're like doing this body style justice. You know, yeah. part of it, it's like the whole never meet your heroes thing. Right. I'm sure a lot of people when they drive the stock version, they get a little disappointed. Oh yeah. This is just yeah. incredible. Yeah. Jeez. What a machine. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Like I I'm so glad you came all the way from Texas just to um show some of the cars, show some of the customer cars, which we'll we'll get into also. Um but yeah, it's awesome. I'm just so blown away. Yeah? Was it fun? It was a lot of fun. Cool. It's just cool to kind of see different builds from different places and different builders. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing us this. Thank you. Thank it, you. It really is like the whole, you're so mild mannered and you're so soft spoken, but then when it comes to your cars and what you actually build and also your driving, it's uh, pretty insane. It's cool That's to cool. see. That's cool. Yeah. I just like to be a humble person. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to be cocky and stuff. There's no reason for that. So we're going to keep shooting Ellis Fest. Thank you as always to Holly for having us out. It kind of gives us a great platform to kind of see all of these cars from all over. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep shooting Jesse's cars. He has a couple awesome builds. And I think you guys will love the next one. Yeah.